English Standard 12 Unit 3 Prose in Celebration of Being Alive Written by Dr. Christian Bernard Continued In the previous paragraphs especially 8th and 9th paragraphs the author Dr. Bernard says about the Grand Prix show played by a bold and daring crew of two boys at Cape Town's Red Cross Children's Hospital. The unattended trolley became their race car and it was a better entertainment than the Indian Police 500 race. Dr. Bernard knew these two boys well. Let us continue reading the lesson to know more facts about the boys. Let me tell you about these two. The mechanic was all of seven years old. One night, when his mother and father were drunk, his mother threw a lantern at his father, missed and the lantern broke over the child's head and shoulders. He suffered severe third degree burns on the upper part of the body and lost both his eyes. At the time of the Grand Prix, he was a walking horror with a disfigured face and long flap of skin hanging from the side of his neck to his body. As the wound healed around his neck, his lower jaw became gripped in a mass of fibrous tissue. The only way this little boy could open his mouth was to raise his head. When I stopped by to see him after the race, he said, you know, we won. And he was laughing. Disfigured, disfigured means marred in appearance. Disfigured. Mod in appearance. And you know that at the time of the Grand Prix, he was a walking horror with a disfigured face and long flap of skin hanging from the side of his neck to his body. You know, that is at that time, even that he could not open his mouth simply without because his jaw was crimped and so he has to lift his head just to open the mouth. When the author stopped by to see him, after the race, he laughed and said that they won in the race. In spite of his disfigured appearance and sufferings, the boy was happy and enjoyed the present moment. The tourist driver I knew better. A few years earlier, I had successfully closed a hole in his heart. He had written to the hospital because he had a malignant tumor of the bone. A few days before the race, his shoulder and arm were amputated. Malignant. Malignant means Malig malignant and here it means diseases diseases very harmful to life very harmful to life tumor this is growth in some part of the body tumor tumor diseased growth in some part of the body. So he had bone tumor, some part of the body. He had 
returned to the hospital because he had a malignant tumor of the bone. A few days before the race, his shoulder and arms were amputated. Amputated means, that is amputated, cut off, cut off uh, by surgical operation. Amputated. Cut off by operation, surgical operations. Surgical operations. So his arm and shoulder were just amputated, but still he was so happy. And you just can think of this how he was so happy to see the author also. He knew the trolley's driver better. He had successfully closed a hole in his heart a few years back. He had a malignant tumor of the bone. And of course, a few days before the race, his shoulder and arms were amputated. There was no hope of recovery. You know, after the Grand Prix, he, the boy proudly informed him that the trolley's wheels were not properly oiled. But he was a good driver. And he had full confidence in the mechanic. Unmindful of sufferings, the boys enjoyed the present moments and made others, the impatience, also feel happy and enjoy. Suddenly, I realized that these two, two children had given me a profound lesson, very great lesson. Profound means very great. A profound lesson in getting on with the business of living because the business of living in joy is in the real sense of the word is not just something for pleasure, amusement, recreation. The business of living is the celebration of being alive. The business of living is the celebration of being alive. I had been looking at suffering from the wrong end. You don't become a better person because you are suffering. But you become a better person because you have experienced suffering. We can't appreciate light if we haven't known darkness. Nor can we appreciate warmth if we have never suffered cold. These children showed me that it's not what you have lost that's important. What is important is what you have left. So what is important is what you have left. The two messages we learn from this lesson. The business of living is the celebration of being alive. Being alive is really the great gift of God. And secondly, it is not that what you have lost is important, but what is important is what you have left. The author found out that the perception of human suffering was incomplete. Of hum and the boys taught him a very good lesson, a profound lesson, how the experience of sufferings helps a person value life. This thought gave the author a solace. One does not become a better person because one has suffered. One does not become a better person because one has suffered. One becomes a better person because one has undergone suffering. One can't appreciate light in the absence of darkness. Dr. Bernard nicely emphasized on the need to live in present and to celebrate what we have rather than to complain about what we don't have. So the value that we learn from this lesson is most important one. That is the need to live in present 
and to celebrate what we have rather than to complain about what we don't have in the garden of memory happy moments are always the brightest blossoms happy moments are the always the brightest blossoms in the garden of memory with so much suffering all around us being alive should be a celebration of course the world has got both pleasure and pain in the midst of sufferings being alive should be a celebration then the act of giving life to someone is certainly the noblest act in humanity thus this lesson is based on the idea that one must not feel troubled by thought of suffering and pain one must not be troubled by thoughts of suffering and pain pleasure and pain are parts of human life pleasure and pain are parts of human life and finally he concludes saying that the business of living is the celebration of being alive and another important word he, words he says that these children showed me that it's not what you have lost that's important what is important is what you have left so this lesson is aptly titled in celebration of being alive the two moral values we learn from this lesson is to live in the present in spite of pains and sufferings that we undergo secondly let us live our life fully fruitfully and let us leave something the best to the world